Hey guys. Okay. So, um, this is part two. It's, um, May 20th, 2023. Um, it is, uh, ignored the telegram and the what's WhatsApp people on YouTube. They're trying to scam you. I claim that Jesus Christ is the son of God. He's also God. He came to earth as a man in the flesh. He, uh, bled on the cross and died for us. And he rose on the third day. Okay. <clears throat> I love you. Wake up children. I'm picking up my bride. I'm coming. I gave you the midnight cry as your warning. I told you to look at seven and look at my completion date. Count from 15 to seven. What do you get? 22. Have you looked at Revelation 22? Have you read it forward and backwards? Have you looked at Enoch 22? Do my words become deaf to you? I am leaving you a gift. My prophets, I have anointed to speak. This is your instruction manual for what's to come. Read it, learn it, and live it. Don't forget to watch my movie, The Prodigal Son, and there will be a journey from the stars. Lights, camera, action, game, set, match. It's finished. The first will be last and the last will be first. Humble yourselves and get rid of your pride. You will never be unteachable, you hypocrite. Sevenfold and more earthquakes are coming. Get ready. I am at the door and you will hear the trumpet soon. Your father, your Messiah, your deliverer and rescuer, and I have spoken. John 1 11. He came to his own and his own did not receive him. Job 6 2. Oh, that my grief were fully weighed and my calamity laid with it on the scales. Hebrews 4 9. There remains therefore a rest for the people of God. Hebrews 4 9. Psalm 91 6. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I got some keys. <gasps> Um, as in Hebrews 4, 9, there remains therefore a rest for the people of God. Psalms 91, 6, nor are the pestilent that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. Okay. Psalm 82, 4, deliver the poor and needy, free them from the hand of the wicked. Malachi 1, 6, as son honors his father and a servant his master, if then I am the father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my reverence, says the Lord of hosts, to you priests who despise my name? Yet you say, in what way have we despised your name? Jeremiah 2, 4, hear the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob and all the families of the house of Israel. Matthew three eleven. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Romans 9, 4. Who are Israelites? To whom pertain the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the service of God, and the promises? Ephesians 2, 3. Believe in me and confess, I am Lord, and repent from your disbelief. Oh, wait, did I forget to do the... <laughs> That was a message. Okay. Ephesians 2, 3. I forgot to look that one up. Uh, let me pause it and I'll do another video. Hold on a second. Okay. So sorry about that. Ephesians 2, 3. Among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others. Okay. And here's another message. Believe in me and confess I am Lord and repent from your disbelief and I will save you. Many are called, but only a few are chosen. My sheep hear my voice and they hear me calling you home. Are you my sheep? I love you. You're Adonai, you're Yahweh, and I have spoken. Deuteronomy 3, 5. All these cities were fortified with high walls, gates, and bars besides a great many rural towns. Ephesians 2 5 even when we were dead in trespasses made us alive together with Christ by grace you have been saved first John 2 9 he who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now John three seventeen. <clears throat> for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved guys <clears throat> when Jesus gave me this message guys he shook me so hard. I, I'm i telling you guys, he's coming. I believe it 100,000% in my heart that he's coming. I'm going to go work on the light show because I think there's more footage. So I'm going to go work on that. But, um, oh, guys, please.
please believe in him. Just believe in him. It's, it's, it's a free gift. It's salvation. It's nothing that you have to do. It's what he already did for you guys. It's literally your faith and his grace. And he's going to save you no matter what. All sins equal the same. But see, when you're truly in love with Jesus, you're going to want to follow his commandments because you don't want to upset him. That's the thing. He changes your heart and he changes your mind. But see, we all have different walks. You know, not everyone, I mean, it took me a couple years to change, you know. I see, a, I don't even recognize, recognize myself anymore from what I used to be. And I wasn't really that bad, but you know, we're all bad in God's eyes. So that's why we need Jesus because none is righteous, not one. The only time we can become righteous is if we are under Jesus Christ because he is our king. He is our savior. I mean, if you don't have Jesus and you are under the law, and it's impossible to follow the law on your own. Impossible. Because if you look at somebody with a lustful look, you just committed adultery in your heart. If you've ever lied or stolen something, you know, you're a liar. You're a thief. You don't want to be under the law. Trust me. Listen, the spirit, the fruit is your doctrine. You know, your works, your works. You have the spirit of the, the, the fruits, you know, um, good tree branches, <laughs> all that. I mean, I don't, I can't explain it the way Jesus does, but just basically, I mean, you know, it's all about, it's all about your faith, guys. Like I said, if you love Jesus, you're going to obey his commandments because you love him. Not that you're trying. I mean, guys, in this message, he said worker bees. Okay. He's making a point, guys. And I can't believe he gave the date and the time. Listen, guys, I tried to erase it. I did. So I went like this and I was like going to erase it. And he tightens my hand up so tight where I can't move it. And I know he doesn't want me to erase it. So like I said, I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> it's either do or die. <laughs> But I believe it. I've sacrificed everything for Jesus. What's one more thing, okay? The whole world already thinks that I'm nuts. And um, they already mock and scoff me. And no one believes me. But I think I'm a true prophet then. You know, because they said a true prophet. That's what, what would happen. And um, God called me a prophet today. After that message, I got Matthew 2.5. And I was shocked. I was like, oh, he called me a prophet. So be careful, guys. Be careful. I, you know, just please love one another. Guys, forgive one another. I don't hold any contempt towards anyone that's saying anything bad about me. And there's a lot. <laughs> but you guys don't know me. You don't know my heart, you know. But Jesus does. Jesus knows your heart, too. Okay. Because... <laughs> Our God is an awesome God, he reigns from heaven above. Our God is an awesome God, our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God, he reigns from heaven above. Our God is an awesome God, our God is an awesome God. I can't wait to be at the wedding feast. I am so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, well, I love you all people. And um, just keep looking up. Keep looking up. I think we're going to do a live show. It's scary and it takes a lot of faith. Because if we don't disappear, it's going to be very, very embarrassing. <laughs> but hey, you know what? We're going to give it our all. Uh, still got to talk to the girls, but I think that's where we're where we're going because he shook me so hard and he basically put it on my heart that we we have to do that you know for the live live feed so like I said it's either God or it's Satan doing this like horrible thing to a bunch of Christians and trying to deceive them but then I don't think Satan could display Jesus in my backyard I don't know though I'm I'm not Satan so I don't know so I don't know what kind of powers he has but I believe it's Jesus I know God's voice I know my relationship with him but Okay.